You're closer in age to Margareta, so let's go and betroth you to her. We'll take a bit of a risk. Okay. Accept the betrothal. Good stuff. Right, how old is Gala? Gala's 14. Wounded? Who dares wound her? We have another sponsor. Wants to make a box. Considered a master by his peers. 72 to do. You know what? Sure. It's time that we started building up our gadgets a little. This is ridiculous, Raffin protests. As the keeper of the king's personal collection, I have a responsibility to ensure the quality of your work. You will see once it's finished, Halvor retorts. You should leave a man to his work when he is forging a brooch fit for royalty. He kind of went from Danish to Brummy there, in the space of a sentence. So I guess he's a Dane who spent some time in Birmingham? Sixty percent chance of going higher, forty percent chance it goes lower, but I'm compassionate, so I don't think I would do that. Stick to your duties, Hraffen. Oh, time for a bit of fresh air. They Hraffen dislikes me, Halvor likes me. Hraffen replaces Halvor. Hang on. Is he actually any good at his job? Yes, he's average. Halvor's poor. Stick to your duties, Raffin. Let the man do what he's doing. My beneficiary, Ambrose, holds out a tiny box with the finest of hair thin carvings engraved into it. The prototype for your latest commission. I don't want it to go to waste. We could find a use for this dear thing. My courtier, Raffa, perks up. We could place a relic of our time inside it and bury it somewhere. Create a memento for children of the future to unveil. Stow a miniature portrait of myself. Write a tiny poem. Hold on to it. Stewardship lifestyle experience. Must be equipped... Must be a child to equip as an inventory artifact. And it generates monthly stewardship lifestyle experience. Which as a child you don't get. This thing's useless. I'll put a picture of myself in it and bury it. That's what it's good for. That was a waste of money. A motto for the ages. I can hear my beneficiary Halvor muttering to himself from across the hall. Something great, something epic to make my creation stand out from the uninspired masses. But what? Just what? When his spirited eyes meet mine, he breaks out into a huge smile and waves to me. My lord, what an amazing idea. Just perfect. What do you think of adding your family's motto to our commission? Sure, sounds cool. Gives me some renown as well. Not going to say no to that. And Reginar has become a novice physician, which is good, because he is my actual physician. A vassal to remember. Countess Ingbjorg and Duchess Romilda are among the most powerful vassals in my realm. I never know how to keep them happy, so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone would be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I just have the right thing in the making. Romilda's only 12. To so myself with the prestige, but I don't really need it. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll dedicate it to you both. Get Romilda on our good side before she's even growed up. My health is now poor, so I do need to start thinking about the future, so no war with Sweden, we need to just save up money. Wet with tears, my courtier comes bearing blank tidings and a small black crate. 
My daughter Swift Train died while playing with Clara. Swift Train? She's 15. I can barely peer through my watering eyes into the box, but one glance confirms that it is indeed the corpse of my own darling. Sorry about that, darling. She'll be out playing in Valhalla. Gain a bunch of stress. Yeah, we're gonna go critical. Innocence is a fatal poison. Wrathful and curious. I don't have anything against you. I had so many great hopes for you, my sweetest child. All the things you would learn, experience, and do. Eh, one less person to divide my realm up between. Unfortunately, that just means that Lokon's ghost steps into her place. Can't have anyone else training, right? No. I can create the Duchy of Julich, Munster, and Flanders. Julich, I should probably actually do. No, save money. Save money. Because we are definitely going to have a problem going forwards. Life has never been easy, but it feels like the loss of my daughter Swift Train has pushed me over the edge. I still remember her as a baby, so tiny, so fragile. Despite that, she survived growing up, growing older until now, when she finally stopped. And Whistlow is cool. So we'll become a confider. We're the compassionate, high intrigue confider. We are so bad at this. Over here, my lord! My beneficiary, Halvor, waves me over with a wide grin. I've toiled for many days and nights, and finally my work here is done. He presents me with an object wrapped in cloth, and as I lift the fabric, my eyes grow wide. A beautiful brooch of very fine craftsmanship consists of sapphire copacon mounted on an electrum fastener. This is lovely. What is it? Prestige and spouse opinion. Okay. A beautiful brooch. The motto of the Maudling family. History will be kind to me, for I intend to write it elegantly inscribed upon one side. Cool. Betrothal fulfilled. Did you turn out any good? No, not really. Tough soldier. That's unfortunate. Your wife at least is fairly decent. Hmm. New Ricks go die. Uh, do we indeed. You're at level 15. I'm not going to switch this now because there is like a 10 year cooldown after switching uh, Ricks go die. And that does carry across inheritances. And if this guy is already poor health. I spot my wife, Wizlauer, chattering excitedly to Ambrose, listening to ideas and suggestions for his box. My carpenter is barely concealing his contempt, clearly annoyed that spouse's interference. As you are making a box, she goes on, it may well match my grandmother's old box. Part of Ambrose's soul seems to be dying. Come, darling. Let's leave it to the expert. Here, yeah, look at my brooch. You like it, don't you? When it's time for a little you, learn intelligence. I uh, can't, Kalinus. You're not our kid. You're of the family, but you're not one of my direct ones. Okay, stewarding. We need a new steward. We have Mayor Arnold, who is pretty good at this. But maybe we want to make Kunrad the steward, just so we have somebody with a bit more loyalty. Let's keep you true to the realm. Although you were actually already kind of chill. Inspiration realized. Piety and court grandeur. 
My lord, my champion Ambrose gestures me over to the object covered in fabric with a wide grin on his face. I have toiled many days and nights and finally my work here is done. A coffret of excellent craftsmanship. It's made of elegantly worked brass. The body of the box and the lid have been painted with rose flowers. Perfect to keep deeds, memorabilia and ceremonial items inside. Cool. Silver Archon would just be a lot better at this job. As much as I hate diplomacy as a lifestyle. Okay, so that should mean... That, yeah, Silver Archon is the new heir. Uh... Oh, wait. Boys. We have eight kids? Good grief. So there was another spare, so the realm's still going to get split up, but at least it's going to be going to somebody better now. What does Disinherit do? It means that they're no longer the heir. Uh... Gunhilde, Count Halstein's courtier, is firmly in my grip. However, with the right strategy, I might raise my upper hand even further. Perhaps Gunhilde could be used to expend my influence over the Count. 97% chance of finding evidence of one of his secrets. Sure, I guess. Find no incriminating information about Count Halstein, so it was a good thing I'd prepared it myself. All of a sudden, Halstein seems to be beset by foul rumours. And I happen to hold all the evidence for them. He's a cannibal? I'll take the strong hook, I think. Now, you're a zealot. You're an old also true zealot. So this is going to be like the only way that I have to convert you. What are you vassal of? Ennis, you're in Ireland. Convert. My spy master has come to me with grave news. While well, we do not yet know who, somebody is planning to kill my beneficiary, Ambrose. That's fine, he's done his job. Right, let's make him easier to imprison people. Faith is too strong. Rather attain my reward in Asgard. Use my strong hook. Countess Svanhilde. So his wife converts to also true and all of his family. Oh, and he. No, I think you will believe exactly what I tell you to. So we have just forced that one through. So are these all the wrong faith then? Two of them were. Gonna need you to toe the line as well there, Mr. Desmond. Because the whole point of this exercise is that you convert those realms to also true. Wait, what? Why? Oh, because it's not an inventory thing. God damn it. Alright, we're loading that because I didn't want that to break. Oh, I didn't use the hook. Oh. Don't actually know how far back this goes. No 
warning about that. That's a surprise. It must have been the 1st of January that it broke because it breaks in the year start. That means I have to go back six months. Damn it. Ah! So you get a warning if an inventory item breaks, but not if a throne room item. Oh, it's already gone. What's going on here? It's already gone here too. Maybe a banner that someone else has from me from the Civil War. I lost it. Yeah, maybe you're right. I wish I'd checked the date now. <laughs> there it was. Where? You mean this? But it can't be because the durability on this is still really high. There, it's that one. Ah. So it wasn't actually up on the wall. In that case, maybe it is here. But still, the fact you don't get a warning for those breaking is incredibly annoying. Yeah, it's already gone in this one. Going back six months, I don't mind. Going back six years, rather not. Tried playing CK3 back when it came out, but never understood how or what to do. Ah. Uh, watch some tutorials? <laughs> Seems so complicated. It isn't. I would say that CK3 is one of the easier 
grand strategy games to get into. It's definitely not as easy as, for example, Stellaris, but it does definitely does a better job of it. Uh, yeah, the best advice I can give is watch some tutorials or some slower-paced Let's Plays. I'm trying to think if uh, the, the, there's anyone that I would give as an, as an example. If anyone knows any tutorials, then please do link them. Right, what was I doing? I was trying to save that stupid banner from dying. There it is. Oops. To repair you. Reforge? Reforge into what? No, it can't be reforged. Alright, so is there anything else on the precipice? No, nothing else. It was just that. Where is it? Oh, so I can only have three banners. That was actually a wall ornament slot. Oh, I see. I feel like we've gained some extra slots. I don't remember seeing the books of the furniture before. Can't click on them either. Oh yeah, that one's already displayed. All right, so what does, <laughs> what does that banner even do? Now that we've just spent all of that effort. Yeah, it's the Dynasty Banner. One of these upgrades as you gain more renown. I can't remember if it's the Dynasty Banner or the House Banner. I have a feeling it's the Dynasty. But I honestly don't remember. Also, my stewarding skill seems to have gone down. So what point was I at here? What was I doing? I think I was literally just saving money. Have I disinherited yet? No, I have not. Rid of you. Brings you in. Inspiration realized. Oh, this is much better. Famed pedestal item. The maudling jewellery casket. A jewellery casket of excellent craftsmanship made of plainly worked walnut. The body, the box, and the lid have been... Painted with geometric shapes, perfect to keep jewels and religious trinkets safe. This one does give extra renown, which is very nice. So that I might be tempted to use. Although I'm not entirely sure where. Ah, probably instead of the goblet. Because that has the prowess injury resistance, which is nice to have. The prestige. Put the jewellery casket there. Okay, cool. Reconvert those people are converted through blackmail. I'm not sure that I'm going to... Oh, these. I mean, the zealot I can't. That was done basically through the event. This guy I can, however. No, he's just going to outright say no, isn't he? Oh, no. And we need a new steward, which was going to be Conrad. Although, actually, their relations are fine, even though they don't have a seat on the council. So, we're just going to keep Mayor Arnold in charge. Sign. Now, here's a good question. Of the realms that I control... Are the mayors any good? 
Because these guys I can replace. You're useless. And there's no cost to this. Okay, so who has good stewarding? Trude. A random NPC. Congratulations. Oh, I'm going to need you to... Uh, well, let's get you placed and then let's get you converted. Otherwise, you're fired. Then, renewed. We could probably do better than you. We could definitely do better than you. Adult, you should still be my central. Because you're still a vassal. Eep. Still needs to build more stuff. Calais. Saint Omer is owned by the Crusaders. And then Sophie. Sophie's alright. Oh no, I did lose those people. Damn. And you're the worst of the bunch. What the heck? You're fired. Worcester. And then apparently I need to bring in a new antiquarian. Huzzah! Either of you would be good. Let's make Ambrose, because he may actually improve over time. He is a steward. He's only 26. And the Seneschal. Which can be Prince Silver Archon. He may get some work experience from this. Court Artificer. Well, those are new. So Hullball wasn't the great creator. That was Ambrose. So actually, let's make Halvor take that position. Then let's make Ambrose an Artificer. Because he might well get inspired to make something new. Loch Ness Munchies. Thank you very much for the six month resub. Very much appreciate the ongoing support there. I'm finally on when you're streaming. Thank you for the stream. You're more than welcome. You converted. Good girl. You have chosen wisely. Why would you honor that churl Halvor with a position at court and not me, my son? Commander Scooby is livid. Apparently, you've been certain the honor would fall to him. <laughs> we can make him the food taster. He's not in my line of succession anymore. Yeah, sure, you, you can be the food taster. Congrats. King George of East Francia has bestowed upon me the most gracious gift. A couple of well-bred palfreys. Odd mare and a stallion. My lord, my vassal Jarl Conrad, beckons me over to the stallion. Look at those muscles and that hindquarters. This would serve well in war. Poor grandeur. Good price. I'll train the stallion myself. I lose stress because I'm brave. 100% chance of gaining a warhorse? Done. Look at me, Mom. I'm a warrior. Admiring the stallion that now follows my every command, I muse on what to call him. Just a horse. Nah, let's go with a mythological one. Let's go with... Balius. 